Hi guys, out on my morning walk and I thought, you know what, let's address this whole exams situation. Nobody does it quite like Dr. Bavsa does, I'm sure you agree. But I thought, you know, let's have a kind of honest conversation or at least me talking and you listening, which is usually how my conversations go. But anyway, I thought, you know, let's just talk it out, think it through. What does this actually mean for you guys? And I've done a, a little bit of research. I've looked around to what other people are saying. And I, I do have something to add to the conversation, which is the only reason why I'm saying anything about it. So anyway, it's morning. This is my view. Here we go. Okay, I hope I don't get run over doing this. But anyway, basically, I'm going to echo what you know other people are saying but with a little bit of extra information so I, yes absolutely you must keep working okay um, just because you don't have external exams doesn't mean you're gonna have no exams like that is the the, the main critical uh, thing that I think people are um, ignoring is that just because there's no official OCR or Edexcel or other exam board exam doesn't mean that you won't have exams and that's not to say that the exam boards might not prepare something to um, distribute to the schools uh, colleges so that they can carry out the internal exams and it might be that the teachers themselves are um, assessing those papers Car. so yeah so the teachers themselves might be assessing those papers um, so it won't be externally access, uh, assessed but they will still be exam they might still be uh, exam papers produced by the examples themselves so that's still a possibility okay so yes you are you are going to do exams um, before before everything wraps up so you still have to know your stuff you still have to um, work towards that okay next thing next question okay so let's say three quarters of your a level career is done and dusted okay your teachers probably have already some information about how you've done in the past how you're doing at the moment and so is it all over for you okay because you are banking on this dramatic uh, dramatic improvement at the end of the year and while that's possible it's rare okay but is the game or is that game over then right your chance at this dramatic improvement at the end of the year well t absolutely not right because yes there's some data you know for you in the past but I'm gonna say that If you keep working and and the thing is that if you if you improve your grades now then it's it's not only the absolute grades that your teachers are going to be looking at it's the trajectory okay the slope of the line the tangent to the curve all that stuff that's what your teachers are going to be using as evidence okay so if you get your head down right and actually for those of you who are aiming for a big improvement at the end of the year, this might even be in your favor, guys, because now you have to work now, right? Um, um, with the exams, with, this, with these exams in this distant future that we were all working towards, I think a lot of people would have got into that way of thinking that, well, the exams are in the summer and that's when I'm gonna make my major push. Well, now, you can't rely on that because now it's it's everything that you do basically that could be being used by your teachers to uh, as evidence to to, to uh, measure your progress so it's really really important that you start working now okay every single uh, homework every single uh, uh, test that your teacher might uh, give you um, upon the return to, uh, to schools and colleges. Oh, 
all of those things are opportunities for you to prove that you're getting better. So it, instead of getting lulled into this basically delusion that summer comes and something miraculous is going to happen, well now you can actually take control. Well now you can actually take control uh, of your grade. Start working every day, every week, okay? And prove to your teacher or teachers that you are actually making progress and let the numbers and letters prove it, okay? Rather than something magical that's gonna happen at the end of the year, okay? So that's that. The other thing that I, you know, I really wanna stress is that you have to start thinking about, um, oh, I think that's basically that, right? So, Yes, the exams are still happening. Yes, there is still ways, there are still ways for you to show that you are capable of getting the grades that you want to get, okay? But the big difference is now, uh, even though there's still a test for you to work towards, and even though you still have the opportunity to um, get that brilliant high grade that you're working towards at the end of the year because we're still planning to have some form of assessment even if it's not uh, done or kind of administered in the same way it will still happen okay so there is that and the other thing is and the other thing is that now you have a lot of opportunities along the way for, for, for generating tangible evidence to give to your teachers that you are making progress. Okay? So all the homeworks, all the online lessons, engage with those properly, show that, you're, show that you mean business. Okay? But then, also, like... Those are kind of very easy things to show that you're doing, but at the same time, revise in a real way. Understand your topic in a real way. Do the exam questions so that when we do get back into schools and colleges and you get those little topic tests and things like that, during those tests, you can show that you are moving forward. Your grade is getting higher. Your percentages are getting higher. Okay, so. That is what I have to say about that. And I don't want anyone using this as an excuse to throw their toys out of the pram, throw their hands up in the air and say, that's it, I'm done. Okay? Because that is lame. Okay? And none of you are going to give in to that or fall into that trap. Okay? Because inequality is inequality is 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 my big bugbear with society as it is okay very much and and i think that um we still all have an opportunity to get into the long-term futures that that we are planning for make a difference make a positive difference in the world okay and and i don't want anyone kind of thinking about this as an obstacle it's not an obstacle it's it's just there's a different path there's an there's a slightly alternative route to the end destination base okay this is what I want everyone to take away so keep working keep doing the business keep plugging away heads down working hard no giving up okay no slacking because now, that's what I told my students, instead of having your exam at the end of the year, basically every day, every week is a little bit of your exam now, guys. That's the situation. So keep going, keep doing the work. No tomorrow, just today. Peace out.